Hi, this is a case operated by a resident surgeon. I'm helping the surgeon uh, placing anti-chamber IOL after removal of a drop nucleus. The wound has been enlarged to about 6 mm and we're placing an MTA 5UO lens which is a 13.75 mm in diameter. So always remember to do a peripheral idectomy with anti-chamber IOL. The easiest way to do it is to go with the vitreous cutter facing down, switch off the cutting for now, go with the vacuum, hold the iris, make sure you have a good grasp, pull up, and then once you have a good grasp, just activate the cutting. It took the residents two attempts to do it, but usually it can be performed in one go. Cohesive viscoelastic is placed in the antechamber to push the iris back and form the antechamber and also to protect the cornea. We like to use a sheet glide to place the lens over. This is a sheet glide introduced in the antechamber aiming to the angle of the eye and trying not uh, to pick any iris tissue. Viscoelastic is placed over the sheet glide to open the anti-chamber. The sheet glide is slightly adjusted, making sure it's not picking any iris tissue. The lens is placed, this is correct orientation over the sheet glide, aiming for the angle, and as the lens moves inside the eye and travels to the angle, the sheet glide is then withdrawn. Now, putting the trailing haptic, it needs to be tucked under the wound. So go in and you tuck it under the wound. This is very important, making sure that it's really inside the eye and it's not in the wound. So always pick up the wound and have a look. Here we close with a running suture. The iris is slightly peaked. The way to free the iris is to hold onto the haptic, pull it in and up towards the cornea. And that will free any entrapped iris. Thank you so much for watching.